Welcome to Introduction to Procedural Asset Creation, brought to you by GameTutor. In this course, what we are going to do is cover the steps necessary to create procedural assets using Houdini, Substance, and Unity, and teach the, whole, the overall pipeline of how to create a non-destructive asset. All right, so as you can see here, we have an example of a skate park ramp that we created using Houdini and Substance. And the reason being is that we wanted to create a procedural asset. We wanted to create something that is non-destructive in the scene. So when we start to design our skate park levels, what we can do is we can change our assets. All right, so we can start to update and accommodate the level design with our objects themselves without having to go back to an uh, application like Maya or Max to remodel everything. So the added benefit here is that the you notice that the collision mesh is also updating all the time in real time as we make these changes. And this is all happening inside of the Unity editor. All right, you'll also notice that all the UVs are updating. Okay, and what we've done is we've utilized the power of substance to create procedural textures as well. So if I select my substance here, I can also change the color of the outline to whatever I need as a designer. And I can also um, change the paint or the wood texture up here so I can pull away some more of that paint, add it back on, all right? And all of this gives, just gives us uh, tools so that we can design our levels much faster and iterate on the design and find the fun in our games. So through the use of procedural assets, um, this is very possible. So throughout this course, we are going to go through each step and learn how to create this skate park ramp for use in your own game design projects.